time now to go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood. And joining us, as always, is Dax Holt. Dax, we want to jump right into a really hot topic that everyone's talking about. There's still more fallout at Penn State after legendary coach Joe Paterno was fired. And you guys found out that coaches are now urging players to wear white? Yeah, you know, and it's not even just the players. It's uh, it's the players are trying to tell their family and friends to everyone wear right white to support Joe Paterno. But here's the thing: the university has been telling everyone to wear blue in support of the victims of the sexual abuse, and and so to have two do to, you know totally different conflicting things it's going okay well I think it just sends a bad message because it seems like everyone should be supporting uh, the victims of the sexual abuse rather I mean Joe Paterno fine whatever if you have that strong of feelings for him but at the same time uh, I'm sorry but I think that the other people are a little more important yeah we're gonna have to see what color everyone wears and I know people have been on social media talking about this including Ashton Kutcher he had an opinion about what's going on of course at, at Penn State so much that he took Twitter to express his opinions, but now he's giving up control of his account? What's going on? Well, that's because he went into the argument and started tweeting out to his 8 million followers uh, that he was, uh, you know, he started to support Joe Paterno and they can't, he couldn't believe they got fired and all this stuff. Well, he didn't have the full story. And so when he went on his Twitter, uh, he started getting a massive backlash from people saying, you don't know what's going on here. Have you read the whole thing? He admitted that he hadn't read the entire story and didn't know all his facts. So he removed his Twitter and apologized. And now he is saying that he cannot handle his own Twitter page and he's handing it over to the management team and so that all of the all of his t tweets can be properly managed and uh, checked before he twitters so I mean it seems kind of like a cop-out personally uh, you know you can just take responsibility say sorry people will forgive you they'll move on I don't think you need to turn it into something that you can't handle your own Twitter account all right and, and before we let you go we want to get an update MSNBC will be airing a documentary tonight about Dr. Conrad Murray, but LaToya Jackson wants it to stop. Well, I, I think there's a lot of people that want it to stop. The, all of Michael Jackson's fans, Michael Jackson's family, everyone is really ticked off at uh, NBC for getting the rights to this. And, uh, you know, it's already aired over in the UK, and so we know what's going to be on it. And it's a lot of people kind of bashing Michael Jackson, to be honest with you. Uh, it, this is all the footage of Conrad Murray leading up to the manslaughter trial in uh, the year's advance. And uh, basically, th there's talk about Michael Jackson peeing his bed and say my, uh, Conrad Murray saying it's all psychological there's the lawyers uh, in you know in discussions talking about how Michael Jackson uh, was a, a bit of a weird person and a freak and then you've got uh, uh, accusations that the president of uh, AEG was calling him flat broke so uh, it does air tonight I believe on MSNBC and uh, they've got quite an outrage between people out there Gonna be interesting. All right, Dax, thanks so much. And you can, of course, catch TMZ TV right here on Fox Providence at 7 p.m. And for more info on any of those stories that you just heard, head to our website, foxprovidence.com.